Hey, welcome back everyone. Matt here. We got my dad Dave and my brother Nick out here and we are doing a renovation of a different type today. We're actually replacing my parents' front lawn. It was zoysia grass and it all died off for some reason. So we are scraping out the old and then in another week we're gonna put in the new and this is actually my mom's Mother's Day present this year. Uh, I think she will appreciate it quite a bit. So let's get over there and take a closer look at what we're doing. So we have my T66 here, but it's a little bit big for this lawn here. This is actually the house I grew up in. So we rented an MT100 from one of our local rental places that we use here. And that's a pretty good size for the lawn here. And Thankfully we have tracked equipment because we have had a lot of rain this spring and especially this week, which is great because we were in a drought, but uh, it does make it a little bit sloppy for projects like this. So we are digging up with the MT100 and then we're gonna load into the T66 and take it to where we're able to dispose of the dirt and old grass and whatever else we dig up. And that is a little further away, so we'll take advantage of the larger bucket and the two-speed on the T66 to take care of that. So all in all, should be pretty simple here. We'll just get it dug down, grade it back out, and then we'll be ready for sod in a week. And Nick is a union operator, so that uh, makes some of this kind of easy. He can get the fine detail work a little smoother.
just about got things dug out here with the old grass drying out. So we'll be able to hopefully get that graded out a little better soon. And then just removing the last bit of grass here on the tree lawn. So looking pretty good out here. So the wettest part was over here where the tracks were kind of pumping up the water. Drying out good though. And of course there's always a little bit of hand work. Nice to see the operator out there working by hand. It's a dime. Well, that should pay for the project then. It's a dime, but I can't read the date. Oh, we'll clean it up, see if it's old. Maybe it's yeah. worth more than a dime. dime. I, I also doubt it. We got all the grass up now, just trying to get things kind of cleaned up, leveled off. It dried out a little bit, but we don't have any sun today for the most part. And we got some more rain coming, unfortunately, and maybe some more severe weather. This has been an interesting spring, busy spring. So get this cleaned up, get it leveled out as much as possible, and then when we're back to the side, we'll get it all raked out, broken up, smoothed up.
All right, we're all cleared out. Roughly, but not bad grade. So come back with the sod later. Take the play toys away. Get things looking good. Well, we are back for day two. We have our three pallets of sod. Need a little less than that, but cheaper to buy by the pallet. We got our little mighty cultivator going to loosen up the surface a little bit. And then, thankfully, everything dried out pretty nice. We got a lot of rain this week, but just the remnants right there. So we'll get everything leveled out, loosened up, prepped up, and then start laying the sod out. All right, first piece of sod going down. Uh, start, start on a stagger. Start on a stagger. Start on a stagger. Half piece. Start on a half piece. So it seems on all line up. That's the case. We're we're not a sod crew. So we're going down pretty quick in these smaller areas. Definitely taking a little while to break up the big majority of the lawn over here. This uh, cultivator is not the greatest machine in the world, but we don't have a tiller. This is the closest we got, so we will work with what we got in this case. No sense in renting a tiller for something this small. And we don't really need to get deep. We just need to break up the surface, break up the chunks, and then get it nicely leveled out. So it is working just fine for that purpose. Now well, we got all the small areas done and about half the big area prepped, so getting a little bit of starter fertilizer down and the first few pieces, so we'll start throwing this in while we get the rest of this area prepped over here. So we got the full, full family out working today, both my brothers here, my dad. Cultivator with no weight really just doesn't get in deep and it's a little slow But we did get this leveled out really nicely So if the top loosened up the roots will be able to grow in we are forecast to have a lot of rain in this coming week as well We've gone from drought to too much rain, but It'll be good for the grass here as long as it doesn't pick the grass up and just wash it away. Well, we're moving along, but our little cultivator has a problem on that last stretch, so we'll see if we can get it going again or if we just have to work it by hand. But the sod pieces if you're not familiar are typically 20 inches by 40 inches when you're doing it by hand we don't have quite a big enough job here to get giant rolls in a machine but that would be a little easier so just put them down stagger the joints a little bit and then you're pretty much done at that point you can roll it with a weight if you want to get the air out from under it we don't have a roller so we'll just walk over it put our weight to work And I think my dad may have miscalculated how much we need here. So I think we're gonna have some leftovers. 
Well, the Instalon is all down. Took, I don't know, three hours or so, and we weren't exactly working hard. So a lot of that was just waiting on that slow cultivator to get through, and then it died at the end. So we just raked out the rest. That's all right. So now just need to get it watered. And we got a little less than a total pallet left over. So all good. Got the view from top side. Nice green carpet. Well, that is a wrap on this video. We got all the sod down and watered in. So hopefully it grows up nicely and happy mother's day to my mom hopefully you enjoy your gift it's a little bigger than usual but should be good for years to come and happy mother's day to all the other moms out there so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video we'd super appreciate a like and a subscription if you haven't done so already and again thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video